hey everyone welcome back to my channel welcome to you if you are new here and welcome back if you're a returning subscriber my name is Aditi Nkize aka black girl scientist and in today's video we're going to be discussing the main differences between a medical scientist and a medical doctor so I'm also going to be referring to a medical scientist as a medical researcher because that's really what they are so we're going to be talking about medical scientist or researcher versus medical doctor and this is a topic um, that comes up a lot and I think it's really important that we just kind of dissect the two and also talk about how they actually work hand in hand and they both um, really interdependent so if you're interested in this video keep watching so as I said in today's video we're going to be talking about medical scientist versus medical doctor okay this is not me pinning the two professions against each other i just think it's really important that we talk about and really dissect um the difference between the two and as well as how these two actually go hand in hand and are um interdependent so i think it's really important that we really understand the difference between the two and myself as being a medical scientist or a medical researcher particularly an hiv researcher i am not going to be biased <laughs> in this video and like i said i'm not putting the two against each other i just think it's important that we just tease out the differences between the two and this was also really um inspired or motivated by a live that i had on my instagram page black girl scientist if you're not following me on my instagram please make sure that you follow because i feel like the youtube page and the instagram page really interact with each other and speak to each other and i really get to interact with my audience on my youtube um on my instagram page as well so the page is black girl scientist i always leave the link in the description box below in all my videos so if you're not following on me on there please make sure you're following me on that page so like i said medical scientist versus medical doctor i'm going to be referring to medical scientist as a medical researcher of course because this is someone who does medical research okay and a medical doctor is a medical physician so um I'm going to speak about, you know, the differences between medical doctors and medical scientists as well. But just like a basic kind of difference, which I also spoke about um, on my live, which someone asked the question, you know, what is the, the main difference between the two? So basically, a medical scientist cannot administer a drip. Okay, so a medical scientist, you can't go to a medical scientist um, and ask them to perform um things that doctors perform okay so doctors give you a drip they prescribe you medica medication that you go pick up at the pharmacy etc medical scientists do not do that okay so medical scientists do medical research and also you can't ask your medical doctor maybe they wouldn't know heaps and heaps like about a specific uh, topic that you would ask them. They may not know they uh, weigh very well around, around a laboratory. That's also the main difference between the two is that a medical scientist will work in a laboratory, whereas a medical doctor will work in a hospital and a clinic, you know, very uh, settings that allow them to work closely and interact closely with patients so that's the first thing about medical doctors is that they work closely with patients so they work in hospitals clinics doctors offices a lot of doctors has have practices which you go and visit and they do not work in labs so laboratories um research laboratories where research is being conducted by medical scientists Another thing about medical doctors is that their jobs are very lucrative and stable. So as long as humans are alive, basically, <laughs> doctors will always have jobs because they, as long as there's medical care and there are medical needs that are needed, doctors will always have jobs. So that's why I say as long as humans are alive, doctors will always have jobs. The third thing is that they are a very highly respected profession. So I know when we, you know, when we were growing up, when I say we people, you know, around my age group or when we were growing up um, and you were growing up as well, if you're watching this, you know, a lot of people wanted to be doctors or lawyers or nurses. Um, 
you know those were kind of or a teacher those were kind of the main kind of professions that people spoke about i think that was only because they were the most popular and we didn't really have knowledge about other professions like um maybe different engineering fields or different fields in um commerce uh, you know finance business different fields in science i mean i don't think when i was growing up like i said in my previous videos if you've watched my previous videos you know i said i wanted to do medical research but i didn't know that i wanted to be a scientist like i didn't grow up and be like i want to be a scientist and that's great now for the generation that's growing up now because of course of the pandemic and you know maybe the exposure that scientists have now that they'll grow up and be like hey i actually want to be a scientist you know along with wanting to be a doctor a teacher a lawyer a business owner a nurse etc so it being a, a medical doctor is a very highly respected um profession extremely high, highly respected um of course as it should be so moving on to medical researchers now so medical researchers or medical scientists like i said i'll use the two words um you know they, they're the same thing so i'll i'll actually just refer to it as a medical scientist because i've said in the beginning of the video that it's going to be a medical doctor versus medical scientist but a medical scientist is a medical researcher so a medical researcher conducts medical research as the name suggests so medical scientists conduct research that is aimed towards improving overall um human health so as opposed to doctors or actually kind of the same as doctors who work closely with patients and humans and may save lives every day medical scientists are dedicated to improving the overall um health of humans so that's medical scientists and they do this through performing clinical trials and using other investigative methods you know to reach um this goal of improving overall human health so scientists you know they may have um hypotheses or a research question in the medical field which will they'll have a hypothesis for they'll have objectives they'll have a study design they'll perform whatever methods they're going to perform in a research laboratory and then it may go um to clinical trials to see at the end is it really going to improve the overall human health okay so another thing about medical scientists is that their job is not monotonous so it's not kind of doing the same thing um which i don't think doctors do the same thing every day of course because each patient presents uh, a new case different symptoms um maybe even if they have the same kind of illness or disease they might present different symptoms because people are different of course but in a medical scientist definitely our job is not monotonous it's very diverse um there are always new research questions that are coming up in the field they always um different angles maybe that we may approach certain things so it's definitely you're not going to be waking up you know week after week doing the same thing so the job is definitely not monotonous and the possibilities of contributing to science overall are absolutely endless as a medical scientist so we continue um you know to have that main goal and that's improving overall health and in my um you know and speaking particularly to, particularly to me as a medical scientist as an hiv researcher you know obviously our main goal is to find a cure for hiv you know a vaccine for hiv that is you know the main goal in improving overall human health so, so another thing really about important thing about medical scientists is that their work is very very impactful so their work has the has world-changing potential and making a drug discovery will potentially infect um sorry impact millions of lives whereas with doctors they kind of impact lives as they deal with patients so with scientists it's more of like whatever drug discovery or discovery you make in the medical field is going to affect the world as a whole you know and impact the world in making and improving overall human health so that's what science is and also 
the next point kind of goes hand in hand with the previous point that i just said is that they directly contribute to the build-up of medical knowledge so these medical scientists you know we publish we publish in journals um any drug discoveries that we make any changes in the field so that we able to you know doctors or also supposed to be well versed in the literature um that medical scientists provide um are really going to improve the health care that they give to their patients so now you see how they're both going hand in hand and they both really are interdependent so um you know as with scientists which i i i always say and i've said in my previous videos is that it's very seldom that a scientist or a, a single person comes up with something that's massive and life-changing it's usually a team um you know you need a team to do that it's not just you and 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 you have a team that helps you you know to reach that and i and i like to think of scientific literature like that because it provides building blocks so whatever study or whatever discovery that i make which may seem small to me may be a stepping stone or a building block for someone else to use the research that i've published to make an even greater discovery or you know to impact the world in an even greater sense so that's how i like to to think of scientific literature or medical uh, literature in this sense is that it really provides building blocks so we building we adding to the scientific literature that's out there to the medical um, literature that's out there so that we able to really make these big impactful changes in the medical field that is going to impact millions and millions of lives so those are the main differences between the two and i've also really spoken about how they speak to each other in that what medical scientists do um, in providing knowledge and doing research through clinical trials and all of that will really provide um, the equipment or the ammunition that doctors need to impact um, you know and improve overall human health so yeah that really brings me to the end of that topic and uh, finally because i've spoken a lot about you know how these two marry the science and the medicine medicine are interdependent because they impact each other with beneficial consequences so if you've been watching this and you're like hey i really want to be a medical scientist but i also want to be a medical doctor how can i kind of do both of them and marry the two there actually is um something that you can study i'm not sure if it's available in our country um i also found out about it when i was abroad and it's called an md phd so you are a scientist physician so the md part is the medical doctor and the phd of course is being the doctor of philosophy in medicine so that is really for someone who's interested in doing medical research as well as practicing as a physician of course you don't only have to go the md phd way you can be an md and obtain a phd as well um and unfortunately the other way around when i know in south africa if you really have a phd and you want to become an md you have to really go back and study for the md whereas a medical doctor if you're an md you can obtain a phd so that's called an md phd i know in the states it takes off a few years then doing a six-year degree and then a four-year phd i think they do it in seven years um i stand to be corrected um or something like that so if you really um want to do the two and both of them are really speaking to you absolutely go ahead i think it's a very 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 important profession because it kind of gives you an appreciation for both the fields in in both being a scientist as well as a physician and using the two you use the two of course to improve uh, overall human health so that brings me to the end of this video if you enjoyed this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe to my channel we're so close to 1000 subscribers i cannot wait to do my 1000 subscriber giveaway so if you're watching this and you have not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and click the subscribe button it's free all you have to do is sign into youtube and it really is easy you just click on that red button that says subscribe so thank you so much for tuning in and i'll see you guys on the next video bye